Hello and welcome to the State Television Company Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus, EU urged Baku to ensure rights of Artsakh residents. Forced displacement is considered a form of ongoing war and violence. The 125th anniversary of Yerevan Kochar will start with the Kochar Fest program. Golden Apricot will pay special attention to the 100th anniversary of Sharlan Znavur and Sergei Parajanov. Valerik Movsisan became the double champion of the European U19 Championship. Support the state television company Western Armenia. On June 22, the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenu Isagyan, took place. In her speech, she referred to the subject by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, and the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, related on the topics of Armenian Roadmap, the official declaration of the genocide against Armenian projects and goals to be carried out, cooperation with other countries and states, the protection of the rights of Armenians in the United Nations, the issues that were discussed during the session of the government. In her speech, the speaker also mentioned the details and importance of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus that Mr. President presented to the deputies during the session. June 23, 2024 is the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus. On this occasion, on June 23, in 2024, the Republic of Western Armenia held a Zoom meeting. The meeting took place in the French and in the Armenian language. The speakers of the meeting were Ms. Lydia Markosyan, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, and Guillermo Karamanian, Ambassador of Western Armenia to Argentina. You can follow the meeting on the Facebook page of Western Armenia TV. Now let's remind about the peace treaty that was signed in the Severus suburb of Paris in 1920 on August 10. It refers to both Western and Eastern Armenia. By the treaty, Turkey recognized Armenia as a free and independent state. The Vilayets of Erzurum, Trabzon, Van, and Betli should form Armenian whose final borders would be drawn by the United States of America. The EU continues to call on Baku to ensure the rights of the people of Artsakh, including their right to return their home, said Joseph Borrell to the respond of the questions by the members of the European Parliament. Regarding the situation of those who were arrested from Artsakh, the EU calls on Baku to observe the proper legal procedure, the basic principles of the protection of those arrested, and to ensure transparency. The EU is convicted that confidence-building measures, including the release and Repatriation of Armenian held in Baku can benefit the overall peace process and pave the way for confidence building between the parties, said Borel. He also reminded that in this regard, the EU welcomed the joint statement of Yerevan and Baku on December 7, 2023, regarding confidence building measures, including the exchange of prisoners and continues to call for further steps to be taken in that direction. According to UN General Assembly Resolution 5576 of December 4 in 2000, June 20 is celebrated as World Refugee Day in order to raise awareness about refugees in the world. This is another impulse. This is another impulse to remind the world of violations of the rights of forcibly displaced Armenians of Artsakh, including about violations of the rights to culture, due to which they are deprived of the opportunity to visit their historical and cultural places, participate in the cultural life of the community, and pass on traditional knowledge to generation. This is written by the independent academic platform of monitoring the cultural heritage of Artsakh. As a result of the 44-day war of 2020 unleashed by Baku and the military operations of September 19 in 2023, the total number of forcibly displaced people from Artsakh are more than 120,000. As a result of the forced deportation, the Armenians of Artsakh were separated from their social cultural values, deprived of the opportunity to realize the knowledge, customs, and practice related to the nature, monuments, community, and cultural landscape of the historical homeland and transfer it to the future generation. So forcibly removal from historical and cultural monuments, their destruction and desecration have created insurmountable challenges for the comprehensive realization of the right to culture. All this is also the reason for the gradual disappearance of many elements of intangible heritage, dialect, traditional dishes, crafts, holiday festivals, community games, agriculture and living culture, the suspension of information cultural education and created systemic problems of preserving the integrity of identity. All the mentioned processes are directly related to violations of the cultural rights of the Armenians from Artsakh and problems of implementation. The platform reminds that the first universal guarantee of the right to culture is Article 27 of the Declaration on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. 
Therefore, the protection and preservation of the rich cultural heritage of Armenians from Archok is not only a matter of justice, but also an imperative to preserve the diversity and the richness of the essential global cultural heritage. This year is celebrated the 125th anniversary of Yervan Kochar, the famous Armenian sculptor and painter and the founder of three dimensional and kinetic paintings. Many programs are planned, which include film screenings, exhibitions, education programs, a television film series about Yervan Kochar, a joint Armenian-French project on his heritage, advertising campaigns, even on international platforms, etc. The agenda of the anniversary event will start with the Kochar Fest program. The presentation of the gold coins issued by the central bank will also take place. Armenian Canadian director Tom Yegoyan returns to Yerevan Golden Age Procore International Film Festival. He is the chairman of this year's short film in the jury. In addition, Egoyan's highly acclaimed new film, Seven Veils, which premiered at least year's Toronto Film Festival, is the opening film of the 21st Golden Ape Record, and it will be shown not only at the opening, but also during the festival as Yerevan premiere. Golden Ape Record International Film Festival will be held on July 7 up to 14 in 2024. This year again, the International Film Festival will present to the public competitive films from different countries of the world, as well as films from the most prestigious film festivals. Where cinema personalities will arrive, Minister Armenia, who will present their experience and art to movie lovers. This year, Golden Apricot will pay special attention to the 100th anniversary of Charles Naznavur and Sergei Parajanov. The representative of Eastern Armenia, Valerik Movsian, won a gold medal at the European U19 Weightlifting Championship in Thessaloniki. Movsian registered a result of 301 kilograms in the doubles. Thus, he became a two time champion of the European U19 Championship. On July 19, 2023, Valerik Movsian won the U17 European Championship in Kishnev. Movsian won a gold medal. National television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and views, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts political and other contexts related to history, pre present and future of Western Armenia, as well as topics that raise various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear viewers, with your support, the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are strong together. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.